So there's a, a designer you mentioned, uh, Johnny Av. Uh, you both are brilliant designers, great human beings. There were some battles fought in, your, in the distant past between the two of you. Uh, looking back, what is the positive characteristics of Johnny that made you a better person and designer, having worked with him? Watching the process that the design team that Johnny led, I don't know where, because that was over years, I didn't see all of those things, but watching the design process of really, because it was really a team that was about materials. It was about form. It was about colors. It was about these physical characteristics. It, it, when we talked about this earlier was design. What is design? Design's everywhere. Okay. So what they were really focused on was form, how the feel was, how it looked, the aesthetics, the physical aesthetics. Mm -hmm. And watching, going through that process, I learned so much in that process about how to do colors, how to do materials, how to think deeply about curves, right? And shadows and how it would look, not just in your hand, but how it would look in the photograph you were gonna take for marketing, <laughs> right? So how it would look, how you would feel, it, all of it. It, it, was, it was all of those physical things around that and watching the process to get there, that was enlightening for me, right? It opened my mind to go, oh, okay. Just like there's a process for all these other things. It wasn't just magic and you say, ha ha, there it is. It was really a process of refinement, you know, of opening the funnel at the beginning and refining down over time to get to that final Final model and selecting and doing the selection and certain types you could certain times they were opinion based design details yeah but a lot of data a lot of data driven designs of what could we what can we de deliver in volume what can we do different things so you ha always had these constraints that you had to work with under and sometimes they uh, and the team not just I, would say we need this and we're like we can't deliver that but maybe we were able to work together to find different design characteristics and different implementation characteristics that could get to that point without what they were describing. And instead of yes, 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 no, 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 let's find some other way to solve the problem together. Yeah, is, and I've seen this um, in several companies I've more closer interacted with, like Tesla is an example. Sometimes, you know, talking about curves, sometimes it's very painful on the engineering side to d to deliver a very specific kind of absolutely thing and one question that comes up in my mind is like well how far should we go to try to deliver a tiny adjustment in a curve in the curvature or in um like the whatever the form factor is right. or in a color of the material when the cost is like 10x to deliver not financially, but just like in effort, yeah, like how many, cost to do it. how many problems to have to solve. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you can say any wisdom to that, because because when you're thinking about curves, you're designing in the space of ideas. You're like platonic forms kind of thing, uh, not always grounded to like how much this is, uh, how much pain is going to be involved in delivering this. But that's as you should perhaps, because then. You, uh, if you're always thinking about the pain required to deliver this thing, you pr you'll be too conservative. You wouldn't do the wild ideas. Oh, oh, right, exactly. But you have to understand again, the why behind it. And at, at Nest, when we had limited resources, you know, putting a screwdriver in the box, a custom dis designed screwdriver in the box was born out of those experiences I had at Apple and seeing how you can create something that's emotional it's part of marketing and it's part of the product experience overall, even though it, it seems extraneous. I went back and made the design team uh, and the mechanical team change some curves on the Nest Protect, the smoke and CO detector we did at Nest, after they had already tooled it. And I said, they're saying it's cost more. I said, it doesn't look right. There is a 
but they're like, oh, well, we had, I said, no, you're going to go back and you're going to make that change. I told you, you want, we needed to do it. We had a better looking model that is going to get done. I know it's going to be a terrible cost to you, but we already had this discussion and that's the way it's going to have to be. And I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Um, and you know, because it's better for the customer and it looks better in the pictures and all that other stuff. And then we did it and it was great. And everyone ag agreed it was great at the end, but it was pain to get there. Um, those are where those little details are where the magic comes out. Right. And, you know, if you don't do, if you don't take those pains and put in the love, the customer's going to feel it's going to, they're either going to feel the pain or they're going to feel the love <laughs> if you put it in. Right. Yeah. So it depends on, you know, uh, how much time and effort you want to put into something and what really matters to you and so how you communicate what you do. We're human beings after all. Is there something you've learned from sort of the the tensions that are natural or that happen in teams when they're passionate and they're trying to solve these problems? Is that the way of life? And, and there's the human drama. Mm -hmm. Is that just, is that always going, is that, it is what it is? Does that make you better, actually, the the drama, the tension between personalities and all that kind of stuff? Look, a roller coaster ride without ups and downs is no fun. <laughs> it's the journey. Yeah. It's the journey that brings it brings out the best in everyone. We're 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 forged, we're tempered by those experiences. Not all the ups but also the downs. And that's when you get the humanity and the connection. And we can tell these stories till we're blue in the face and smile every time because we did something together that we each of us couldn't do apart. But it, when it comes together, that's where all the emotions happen. Yeah. And that's where, if it's born out of the right reasons and the right story in the right way, that's where the magic happens, not just for the customer, but for how it transforms each person who is working on it. And they will never forget those experiences in their life positively and negatively that happened at the time, but they look back and it's only positive because they did something that mattered.